As always, this technique should only be used for ethical reasons and educational purposes. Initially, we need to carry out a few checks and make sure we are ready for sniffing Wi-Fi. IP address checking can take several forms, but using IP address command and IW config will get you there. As you can see, it says WLAN 0 MON, which means that at the moment, the wireless service on this laptop is currently sniffing the air for wireless connections. Using IF config also shows that WLAN is in monitor mode. It has no IP address as it is no longer connected to the local access point. I am going to reset this current air crack session to its initial state by issuing airmon ng stop wlan 0 mon. As you can see, we are now back and ready to begin. To begin using the airmon ng service, you have to initiate this by issuing the airmon ng start wlan 0 command. It disconnects the wireless connection on the Kali Linux laptop and begins monitoring the air for wireless packets. You can confirm this one more time with the sudo airmon ng command to identify your wireless dongle is in monitor mode. Now we are going to use a new command called aero dump. This will begin monitoring the wireless in live time and collecting statistics on the wireless LAN networks in your area and their associated station tables. Almost instantly, it will begin scanning various channels, in this case on the 2.0 GHz spectrum. It has picked up access points on channel 1, 6 and 11 and also a connected device within the station section. Starting the process again, we are going to begin familiarizing ourselves with the CLI interfaces and how to examine the information displayed. We can look at the APs listed more closely. By pressing the A key, we are able to show AP only, station only, AP and station and also ACK. Now, if we hit the tab key, it will highlight the first of the wireless LANs or BSSIDs. Click on the M key on your keyboard and it will change the colors, which is perfect for identifying specific BSSIDs and associated devices connected to it. I hit tab again and identify the second BSSID and by hitting M, I color it red so it separates the colors from other BSSIDs. If another device appears in the station table below, it will also appear red. I now cycle through the other BSSIDs and select different colors. By pressing the S key, I can now sort the APs into ESSID order. As you can see, the green color for the BSSID also has an associated device. Because we have now located the ESSIDs, I am going to single out my ESSID for testing. By issuing the same command again, this time followed by the minus D flag, we single out my home ESSID, saved in the notepad file on the right of the screen. We will now only see my own devices connecting to my network. This is useful for targeting purposes and filters out all the other wireless networks. By taking this a stage further, we specify the channel we wish to filter on using the minus C flag. From the previous output, we found out that my ESSID was transmitting on channel 11, so I have typed minus C11. This just makes the sniffing of packets more focused, as air o dump no longer has to cycle through all of the channels. Instead, we only see channel 11 and connected devices. It is always good practice to turn off your monitor service after completing a session with M on NG. It is the reverse of a command we issued at the beginning of this video, sudo airmon ng, stop, wlan 0 mon. With IW config, we can confirm the laptop is back to its original state. Thanks for watching this introduction to Air Crack NG. In the coming videos, we will go into further details on how to save the session in a packet capture file and crack the Wi-Fi password. Like, share and subscribe and we'll see you for the next video.